As the sun started to set, we made one last stop at the ranch where she keeps her prized horse, Painted Valley. Oh, my most successful bucking horse is easily, it's Painted Valley. It's the painted stud that's, that most of this offspring is out of, you know. He, he re reinvented our breeding program, to be quite honest, and ironically, he was the first one that was actually mine. He would have never been a stud if it had been up to him, my dad or my brother, because they both wanted me to cut him. You know, Painted Valley's been pennies from heaven, he really is. Everything, he owes me nothing, and he is probably my greatest accomplishment by far. So right now, Kirsten is flaking off hay, is what she called it. So she's giving hay to these horses. These are her horses, this is her ranch, and her dad is driving the truck right here, the, the truck hauling the hay, and they're um, giving this hay to the horses to get them some more nutrients than what they can get just out here in the pasture. I'm a huge nutritionist when it comes to animals, and I believe that feed is the biggest secret in rodeo. Like if you feed them properly, and feed them well, and feed them better, that you will go farther in this business than any other ingredient that you can do. So how old are these colts? These colts are all been, have all been born within the lot. They start dropping the middle of March. Okay. So. Um, how long will they be with their moms? Um, I try, it depends on the, how badly I need the mare. <laughs> Some of these mares I need to rodeo this season with, I'll wean them when the colts are three months. If I can leave them on for four or five, I will.